Okay, I'm back now. Sorry, my video interrupts. So somebody tried to call me and I just push it. So what I mean is I want to zoom for you. I don't know why I can't. Yeah, I want to zoom for you. So to show it, it's a, a very thick insulation. I can see a very thick insulation, which is reached almost the almost the, the, the roof up to the uh, up to under the, underneath. And you can see here underneath it's done good proper way you can see and i'll just put the zoom back because of the of the this roof and we go this side so i can see the underneath here yes i'm just zoom for you I'm going this way you can have a look and see it's a proper 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 under roof space underneath here beautiful windows you can see all the windows they are double windows it looks like but it's just they need just maybe to be you know painted again otherwise they looks really nice and it's cool there and i like all these features has been done and the vines goes up so the idea of this property is not to be luxury the idea of this property is to have all the uh all the useful stuff like heating system like beds toilets bathrooms everything but to be the style and to put you in a time while time ago the way the people live beautiful one this is what i like and you can see the roof here as well it's in good condition plus this one nice door nicely done and yeah so all this we're going to show you now underneath here which needs some it's it's good in a good condition just need to be put some wooden ports otherwise there's no problem at all nothing rotten nothing wrong okay now i think it's time to go back and see so we saw the main house and we are going to see now i like the fence by the way you can see it's a not very you know like like strong but it's strong enough a proper wooden fence all the way and <clears throat> it's covered by a proper tiles hat you can see a proper tile hat on it, on, on it which is beautiful really beautiful and do you know what is usually this black color is people paint it with a used car oil they they when people do service of their cars and change the oil they put the oil in the bucket and then you take the oil and you just paint with the oil the oil keep the wood rooms away plus make it the wood to preserve and then the same time it looks black and it's nice i like this color you can see all these old beams old one in a good condition okay and the bench <laughs> beautiful you have a bench in the gate <laughs> look at this door look at this door isn't it amazing it's an interesting copper color. Looks like a copper color, yeah? Wonderful. Look at this. Oh, I like this old stuff, you know. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so let's zoom the house roof from this side. It's a big house, the main one, you can see. So I'll zoom this one for you. Show you the roof, you can see the rich tiles which are important because they're holding the different slopes of the roof plus the gutter all looks good being plaster some of them yeah good one no any visible problems at all amazing yeah okay and the gutters are good as well now i'm going to show you this is swedish the summer kitchen plus the shed and the other house so while i'm here i'll zoom the roof for the summer kitchen and you can see it's a good one and these rich tiles are connect connected with the with the nails yeah they don't need plastering and a proper chimney as well need to be painted if you want and we have a oh this is the name the stork chimney house beautiful one this will be the name of this house okay now let's have a look and see the roof of the this gate shed again yeah 
I like these tiles are really good. There's not they are many years old but really good quality. And you can see the rich tiles good and the gutters nah, looks nice as well. And uh, I don't know, can we have a look and see because this is where this property finish and start that property. So let's try to show you some of the roof from here, if I can. I don't know, can I go a bit higher up here? Yes, maybe I could. I'll zoom for you and hope I can show you some. You can see this, yeah, all the way down there. And behind the chimney, it's another proper chimney, by the way, yeah. Obviously, the property looks old style, old style, old style. It's old fashioned style, but it's in a good condition. Of course, some people can see that there's a signs of the sun burning of the wood, but mainly it's in a really, really good condition. So to finish from this side, we can go inside to see it, to finish the other garden area. We have this main house, this old roof. We have the summer kitchen this side, and we have this shed. Plus, uh huh, we can took a video, make a video of this side of the shed while we are here you can have a look and see all the rich tiles properly plastered and connected make a proper connection between the slopes of the roof and you can see the metal sheet between the between the two roofs which is good and this side perfect really good roof which is one of the most important stuff now i can see that uh this gate and the door we saw there with a the copper color, with the copper color is the same. Look, it's beautiful. It's remarkable. Okay, this guy is a ski resort here, which is not in a very good condition, but it, I think it's still working, but you know, it's nice, this guy. Okay, so now we are in, and you can see the typical 90, 35 this is when this house has been built look at the floors here so we have all these flux stones typical bulgarian plus the flux stone tiles on the sink side plus the way this is makes like a roof to looks like a roof wonderful one when we have a sink beautiful one with nice 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 pots you know it's like a, it's been knitting here by these sticks so here you can see the fence, which is based on the stone foundation, really good one. And you have some gaps here, which you can use like a shelves even. And you can see the construction is really strong. So this is, can last forever, you know. I'm just going down to show you all the stone fence with the stone foundation, which is really good. And all these beams above it, making a proper color to hold the stones as well and you can see there's nothing which is problems not a problems at all you know you can have a look up where to the gate with a concrete and concrete it above and it's constructionally like this so you can use all these for stuff even you can put the doors here if you want you can close the doors and you can put the outside shelves for tools or whatever or for i don't know but it's a lot of space you can use here beautiful while we're here we can have a look and see the summer kitchen which is proper one look at the roof of it underneath all these nice shelves beautiful one and here we have the roof underneath as well you know it's good condition the gutters and it's a plaster proper plaster and the bricks so it's a proper building it's been built much much later than 1935 we have this section here with this nice small like a uh, steps bridge steps and you have some flowers here you have some vineyards above which is beautiful during the summer and you have this lovely 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 property and look at this thing at the back you see beautiful i like the style everything has been done you can have a look and see the windows of the house everything has been kept as it is and just been looked after properly you know which is the main idea of old style bulgarian houses not to demolish them not to change them Look at all the windows, they're in a good condition with all these nice vineyards above them. What's beautiful, it's a natural shed when it's become the 
real summer. It goes to a natural shed with all these vines and you can stay on the window hidden by the sun and can take some grapes with it. Really nice, beautiful. And it's woodwork is really good one. And this is the shed which cover from the rain and sun. It's in the main entrance of the house with a few steps and a railing. So now while we're here, I want to show you as always uh, to zoom the, the underneath the roof so you can see it's it's proper one. You can go with me, look at this, go this way and that way, you know, and then here so you can see it's in a good condition. Uh, the loft is in a good condition. I'll show you the loft when I go to make an inside video for you. So definitely I'm going to see it, find out. It's a really good roof. Let me just make it this one. Yeah, proper one. And it's another. I like all these small features. Each door has a proper shed to keep the rain and the sun away, which is really good. And all they are in a good, really good condition. So this was the main house and the small garden in front of the main house with all these flowers and vineyards. And you can have a look and see now there is a sitting area there and don't forget there is a sitting area over there as well and this one is nice because the people can enjoy uh, outside meals while they are here during the summer don't need to go inside but you have options for me inside as well look at this beautiful beautiful bridge stairs wonderful one and a good condition of the wood maybe just need a bit of painting just to refresh it otherwise it's really really nice and here the summer kitchen so this is the sitting area with benches and tables nice strong really good strong table you can move them you know you can jump on them you can dance on them you can eat on them you can do what you want and they will stay here they will last forever believe or not so it's a beautiful beautiful place and it's most important it's cool here and you have all this beautiful view while we enjoy outside meal or outside relax okay this is a strong benches really good one heavy one not moved but it's even if it's raining the old is really strong one and you can see some initials of the first owner of the property coal shopper so this one is just deliberately next to the summer kitchen because we go now in the summer kitchen later or maybe while i'm here we go to the summer kitchen we'll see and uh, let's see finish this we have if you remember we have a barbecue down there and we have this is a proper typical bulgarian barbecue again with a flat stone tiles the walls nice with a small roof and a proper wide chimney so you can do what you want here the smoke is going properly up you know a beautiful one and you can have some stuff you can put inside below it's really really nicely done with all these features and the carriage white um, you know like a, like a, it's a wheel and it's beautiful nice roses wonderful with all these i like this it's it's like to, for a meat beautiful one and a nice small shed so you can do the stuff here put the food while you while you do the barbecue you can put the ready food here or you can just keep the food need to to, to meet to go to the barbecue there as well wonderful beautiful barbecue have a look at this and you have a nice bar there where you can see the people just enjoy and maybe they just uh, want to say to me get out of here for a quick because we want to enjoy the quiet place and you're just trying to break the silence you know look at these beams electric you have everything so strong beams beautiful beautiful nice and durable area so while i'm here i think it's better it's better me finish first with with this side here uh, this is the gate with the bench if you remember this is the gate with the bench yeah so you can see it's a gate which can be open and just the bench is going this way or just remove the bench because it's a bench which are movable one and look at the doors all the doors are really good original ones you can see good oak beams doors good oak beams doors wonderful one 
and you have another table. So you have a lot of tables and a lot of sections. This is going back to my idea. You can make a summer summer school for the children or we can invite people to make team buildings for big uh, companies to work because it's really get maybe 20 25 people this property and you can make a section people can do some lessons here uh, people can have some food there you know with this lovely place so it's 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 really really nice and i think this is what attracts people who wants to make a business so here is the shed under the gate with these tables plus this is where the second house not the main one is and this is the second house and between the two of them is the summer kitchen so if you want we can have a look <clears throat> and see the summer kitchen while we are showing outside so we can see what is inside so the summer kitchen is is a proper typical bulgarian kitchen with a fridge freezer, uh, old shelves, double windows, and this is place where people can cook during the summer. You have like an oven, you have like oven there, you have like a, um, you have a sink, you have knives, you have gas with a bottle, a gas hopes, you know, and you have an old radio. I'm concerned it works, but anyway, it's there. So you have everything to prepare and to deliver the food for outside area really nice and it's for the summer it's really good and you have toilet plus bathroom so people who are outside still can use this toilet and bathroom without need to go into the main house or into the long house we'll call this main and long house so this summer kitchen is very handy and it's between the two the two houses which is which is really good you go out and then you have all this stuff here plus the bar you know and yeah that's it for now let me just zoom this uh, we're going down there so this is the long house start from the shed and then going all this all this way with the l-shaped band plus all this and it's really nice from outside really really nice you can see all these flagstones plus these nice faces figures proper windows this one is a bit more newer renovated one and again as i say to you this is good what i like is all these all these premises because we have two premises one is a workshop the other one is a bit like a tavern or mechana and all this is covered by this shed which is good people can leave shoes or can stay outside still have a smoke a cigarette or whatever without being under the rain or the sun so i'll move a bit this way so i can show you the roof from here and we can then look at this that's why i call it a long house it's really long house so the proper zoom look at this rich tiles standard good proper tiles all the rich tiles are properly plastered you can see while i'm showing that the gutters are a bit uh, going up and down but this is because they follow the beams and you have another connection for the roof and then you have all these rich tiles again properly like this you know the connection it's really good and it's maybe need somewhere to plaster but not too much good one and oh the sun is gone behind us behind this behind this cloud that's why it's like a type of black one okay so now we've been to this area from where the orchard start all the way we saw the shed behind the main house we saw the roof of the main house we saw the road outside plus some roofs of the of the roadside roofs plus we've been to the summer kitchen and next to the summer kitchen don't forget it's a main gate with the bench outside then we sh we saw the shed which is belongs to this long house now we're going to show you this way here so you can see the house from this side the house has a big you can see a thick insulation look at this it's a really proper thick insulation so it keeps the house cool all the time you know and these windows need just some kind of a finishing and you can see you have a proper concrete foundations here and it's a really really big house really really big one so you can have a look from here yeah and these pipes could be hidden etc no problem at all okay look at this from here it's really good 
and you can have a look and see the roof underneath from here as well it's not rotten you can have a look and see this one going that way that way that way that way yeah okay and now uh, just I'm going a bit down here yeah uh, show you sorry show you this underneath side and then we go to follow the fence up to there with the bend where the stream is so we can finish with the borders of this lovely outside garden living area and here we have we have this one look at underneath proper done no problems at all you can have a look and see it is if anybody wants they can paint it it's not a problem you know like here we continue with this one yeah now here we make the bend up to there it's really nice you can see there's some, some old part and some new part which is really good all the way look at this okay zoom back for you and then now I'm going to show you the end of the garden and then we go to take a video of the main house plus the long house now this is what it is here this is the fence so you can have a look and see it start from the corner there going this way and that way so there is a few septic tanks one is here for the cover to, to cover the two of the properties it's a proper fence by the way so this is what i said in the beginning of my video you can keep this fence here and follow it and where the swimming pool is put a proper fence there as well and over there you have already some kind of a proper fence as well so you can put the fence on this area and then the the orchard you saw that the orchard has some fences so you can keep the orchard much more natural so this is where the fence comes from the long house there turn right here going all this way you can see it's going all this way going all this way and going where the walnut tree is uh, but I won't going through the nettle here it will be so adventure for me so this is you can see the walnut tree there yeah so all the way turn left reach the house and then going the walnut tree then go and walk, follow the walnut tree the stream and then go this way okay so all this is the living area garden and before i finish with this video i just want to show you this beautiful look at the peak the hill and the house next to it see you later